This image from a computer simulation shows a cross-section of a lipid bilayer with water molecules on each side. Because water molecules are small and uncharged, they can diffuse directly across the bilayer. This simulation shows that water molecules occasionally and spontaneously move into the hydrophobic core of the bilayer, even in the absence of any channel protein. The lipid bilayer, therefore, is semi-permeable to water. The total concentration of solute particles inside the cell generally exceeds the concentration of solute particles outside the cell, creating an osmotic gradient that drives the diffusion of water molecules from outside the cell, across the membrane, and into the cell. As the simulation runs, observe the water molecules being bounced around by thermal energy as they move randomly in the bilayer. Although the water molecules will ultimately travel from the area of low solute concentration to high solute concentration and thus into the cell, the likelihood of their entering the hydrophobic domain of the lipid bilayer is very small. To allow water to move more readily across the membrane, many cell types, such as the epithelial cells of the kidney, use specialized channels called aquaporins. Aquaporins selectively conduct water molecules, but not ions or other solutes, across the cell membrane. In this computer simulation, we can see the helices of an aquaporin tetramer spanning the plasma membrane. Each monomer in the tetramer is a separate channel through which water molecules can diffuse. In a cross section of an aquaporin channel, we see that the channel has a narrow pore one that is large enough for a single water molecule to pass, but too small for hydrated ions to enter. One of the water molecules is colored yellow to help track its path through the channel. The water molecules move through the channel single file, oriented by interactions with the other water molecules and the channel wall. In the center of the pore are two strategically placed asparagines that serve as a selectivity filter that prevents protons from passing through the channel. In this experiment, which proved the functional nature of aquaporins, the frog egg on the left was injected with mRNA encoding aquaporin, and the egg on the right was used as a control. The eggs were transferred from an isotonic solution, in which ions are at an equal concentration inside and outside the cell, to a hypotonic salt solution, which has a low concentration of ions. This has no effect on the control egg because its membrane is poorly permeable to water. However, the egg expressing aquaporins quickly begins to swell and eventually bursts as water rushes down the osmotic gradient. This experiment demonstrates the role aquaporins play in channeling water across cell membranes.